The patient is an 85-year-old man suffering from severe right-sided sciatica. He had a previous microsurgical L34 and L45 decompression surgery due to a spinal stenosis. After a pain-free period of three years, recurrent right-sided sciatica in the L4 dermatoma with accompanying numbness over the right shin is diagnosed. Conservative treatment and transforaminal L4 nerve root blocks only provided temporary pain relief. The patient's predominant complaint is sciatica. He has no clinically relevant symptoms such as low back pain or signs of spinal claudication. MRI reveals a right-sided neuroforaminal stenosis along with an intra- and extraforaminal disc herniation at the level L4-5. The patient is placed in a prone position. The entry point for the skin incision is marked under fluoroscopic control. The fibers of the erector spinae fascia are separated longitudinally, followed by an oblique and blunt separation of the muscle fibers. The lateral aspect of the facet joint is exposed medially, and the adjacent transverse processes are marked as cranial and caudal landmarks. A tubular soft tissue distractor is inserted and both the operating table and surgical microscope are tilted 15 to 20 degrees to the contralateral side. The neuroforamen and the medial and caudal aspect of the cranial pedicle are exposed. Then decompression is performed through resection of the lateral aspect of the facet joint. The fragmented disc material is resected and the exiting nerve root and radicular artery are exposed and decompressed by removal of extruded disc fragments in the foramen. The surgery is finalized and the wound is closed.